Oh, hey guys, it's me, Piper. Did you see the new Iron Man movie? You did see it, right? It's totally awesome. You have to check it out. This is my interview with Ty Simpkins. Also, did you have a good Mother's Day? What'd you guys do? Let me know. By the way, I did get a request to sing Never Smile at a Crocodile, and that's coming up real soon. Check out the interview, guys. Bye. Status searching. Hey guys, I'm here with Ty Simpkins and we're going to tell you all about the ending of Iron Man 3. Just kidding, we're going to tell you what it's like to help a superhero save the world. So did you like the movie, Ty? Yeah, I really liked the movie. It was really good. So you worked with Robert Downey Jr. Do you have any really cool set stories or memorable set stories? Well, one of the set stories, it doesn't necessarily have to do with Robert Downey Jr., but I can tell you a story about that. So, um... I got into huge snowball fights with the like special effects guys and stuff. That was really fun. That's awesome. Yeah. But then one of them got really annoyed and then ran over to this snowmaker machine and pummeled me with it. And but um with Robert Downey Jr., I used to go over to his house uh in like North Carolina for like um like set stuff like um his rental house at in North Carolina. And we used to like we just uh like ate pizza talked about like the movie wow and like went on the beach and stuff so it was fun that's really cool so did you get to keep anything from set especially from that last scene where you had all the cool toys and gadgets no i tried to smuggle the gaming chair out there was a gaming <laughs> chair in the corner didn't work Aw. Yeah. well i'm pretty sure they have them at target even though it's not the same one from set yeah so what was it like when you found out you were going to be in the movie well, I was in cello class at my school, first of all, and then I got pulled out, and then, like, uh -huh. um, we got the call from, I got the call from Robert Downey Jr., I'm like, oh my god, Oh, you got so cool. it directly from him? Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. So, I know it's not always as exciting watching yourself personally in a movie. Did it take away from the movie at all, since you had, to, since you were watching yourself? No, it didn't take anything away from the movie. It's Iron Man 3, so... <laughs> That's awesome. Did you watch the movies before you were in it? I did watch the first and second movie before I was in Iron Man 3. And then I got really into Iron Man 3 when I got the job. <laughs> so. so if all the Avengers fought, who would win? Um, that's kind of a hard question. But the match would end between Hulk and Iron Man. Because Hulk could like take out like all the Avengers with a fist. And... The, but Iron Man could just fly. So you're putting the doubt on the girl superhero, Black Widow? Well, no. No, Black Widow could probably move really fast and shoot people. But Black Widow could pro No, 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 yeah. Black Widow's, like, really kind of stealthy spy person, so she probably has all these, like, grappling hook gadgets. So she could probably fly up onto a building. So what can you tell me about your character? Um, my character, Harley, is... Uh, is this kind of child genius kid and he's kind of like a mini Tony Stark I guess it's just a small it's like a shorter way to sum up all of his like character traits I guess you could say so so Iron Man or Tony Stark wasn't exactly sweet to you would you say he's cool or not so nice well it depends are you talking about Tony Stark Iron uh Tony Stark Robert Downey Jr., in character or out of character? Oh, in character, like, because okay. he wasn't very nice to you. Well, um, there, wa there were parts where it was kind of like we were friends. So I guess it could be like he, he's, he's pretty cool, but he's not so nice at the same time. What well, can you tell me about the other stuff you've worked on? War of the Worlds, I don't remember much about it, but I kind of messed up the whole scene once. Cause I just started running, <laughs> uh, with my studio with my studio mom, which is my fake mom, and then I worked on the next three days, and that was pretty fun. Cause I just got to kind of like sit in the car, and <laughs> okay, never mind. Let's just forget about that. <laughs> that wasn't uh, that was still fun working on, but that wasn't fun. Um, Insidious. 
That was pretty scary working on, and I have some memories from that that I, that I will never forget. And uh, I also have some memories that I probably will forget that were good memories. One time I had this umbrella and it was raining, and the umbrella is see-through, and we were oh, I eating. I love those. Yeah. <laughs> We were eating lunch, and the people were like, oh, the actors can't get wet, because we were about to go filming again. And so I got that umbrella, and it's kind of put it on my head, like, like with oh, the yeah. two things. I put it on my head, and I just laid it there. And I put my food in there, and I could just talk to people while be being dry and eating at the same time. How long were you on set for Iron Man? I was on the set for about a month and a half. A month and... About a month, yeah. I would, a month and a half, because then I went to my sister's filming for two weeks, so. Have you worked with your sister, Ryan, on anything? Uh, I've worked on a movie called Pride and Glory, Revolutionary Road, and I want to say... Oh, and CSI. That's really cool. Do you have a Twitter account? I do have a Twitter account. I think it's Tyson Gunn's actor. Yeah, it's Tyson Gunn's actor. You ready for cooler, cuter questions? Yeah, I am. <laughs> so, who's cooler, Iron Man or Iron Patriot? Iron Man. I mean, Iron Patriot's cool. But Iron Man's cooler because he's a superhero. Who's cuter, Miley Cyrus or Selena Gomez? Either. <laughs> Come on. You've got to have some kind of answer here. I'm not saying I like any of them, but if, if it was a choice, it would probably be Selena Gomez. I mean, I don't like, like, I don't love any of them, but... <laughs> you don't have their posters all over No, I don't. I have Pirates of the Caribbean, Star Wars, and Iron Man posters on my wall, and pictures that I drew when I was six for some reason. But, um, yeah, so. What's cuter, lip gloss or sparkles? I would say lip gloss because it smells good. That, well, I actually have scented glitter, not with me, but I have scented mm -hmm. glitter. So, technically, glitter can smell good too. Mm -hmm. Who's cooler, Ty or Harley? Ty, of course. I have to say Ty. Because I'm both, but... Okay, one more. Who's cooler, Ty or Ryan? Ty. Of course, Ty. It's always Ty. Thank you. <laughs>